Well, hello guys, and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. I've got a ton of stuff going on around my base. Uh, first, as you can see, I've actually got this room built out, out of white clear glass and white clear glass, and also pimped my base out with more elevators. That's cool. I, I've actually just just dumped like some blocks here as a bridge, and also my my enderpool production has been going on real fine. Let's see. Uh, I'll use this creeper trophy to kill most of the mobs and the enderman's actually pretty angry with me so I think I can just take him, take him out and get some ender pearls this way and also I can get some exp for enchantment uh, you know what I got to level 30 why not just enchant something for you guys I don't know what to enchant maybe my golden chest plate that is kind of not what I want so why not just do it projectile protection 4 I'm breaking 3 that's awesome uh, at least for now I really don't need those stuff and yeah, my end of post production doing really fine. Oh, actually, they gave me more than just two. I think it gave me like three. Got ton, of, got tons of end of post. Also, with that many amount of end of post, I've actually made made myself a tesseract and connected to my planter, so uh, it will provide energy. I don't really want uh, all the products or the produce to actually get inside my A system. Uh, I don't want it to take my A system of that shit. So. Also, t on on the tangent of A systems, why not I show you guys what I've done to this? I've actually split up both uh, the dust and gravel production, so I can actually do both at the same time instead of one by one. So, what I've done is I just plop down a uh, ME chest, and I've got a 4K storage cell in there, and it's currently storing everything I've got. So. What I could do is actually move that 4K back into my A system and it will actually process all the stuff. I think I'll try and make make it automatic soon, I guess. I, ca I can't actually determine which time I would want to make stuff uh, happen because it's kind of a hassle. So uh, what I'm going to do this episode is going along with the Fungus Drippings quest. I forgot to actually hand this in last episode, so why not just do it this now let's see what we get epic oh that might be pretty awesome let's open it now wow that is really really good so get i mean i've actually died once uh and i realized that this is actually very permanent it will follow you along to the depths of hell <laughs> yeah once you respawn you'll respawn with these guys it will be amazing i've actually died <coughs> Uh, I fall, I've, I've actually fallen off the edge. You ask why I do have all this stuff. I actually got my friend on the server and he TP'd me before I actually died in the void. So it's kind of cheating but I that's the way I play. And also I've actually completed this quest sometime. I, I think, wait where is it? I'm not too sure what I just completed but I completed one quest. I think it's, it was for the hoarding. Yeah, this thing actually completed. Uh, 1k storage cell uh, that finally that finally worked uh, and I got a greater bag so why not just open it now angel block it's okay I it might be useful sometime but might not be also I've got myself some steel from last episode and this quest I'm ready to hand in now deep tank unclaimed reward so why not just claim it and good uh, might not be that good but might be decent oh god so all this reward I'll just dump it in my strong box I, I mean this was, this was supposed to be uh, a reminder for what I've got to do this episode but why not just use it for like a random stuff chest I think so uh, what we are going to do now is for the hoarding I remember that I'm going to do this this episode digital storage I've actually crafted this I don't know why it, it didn't count it didn't count but the rewards are pretty good I've been using a ton of interface so why not just get going with this quest I don't know why these guys didn't count when I when I made them uh, the CPU heat vents and containment walls do did count uh, don't know why so why not just start crafting and I'll be right back and done claim reward wow that is a ton of useful stuff I'll put the hearts in there I don't really need them now I won't die as often ha <laughs> uh, uh, it's a lie oh my god this will follow me to the to the end of this series I'll just dump it here I don't know why I would need that but the yellow heart canister is really really useful just dump it here I guess it'll work it's not actually recovering my health I have to take it out put it back I think is it working the yellow bar doesn't seem to be moving that's weird it should be going up though 
Hmm, that's weird. Gotta find out some stuff. So I think what we can do next is actually kind of look at this kind of stuff. I think I can do this now because I've actually crafted a tesseract so it will be as easy. This is crazy man. I mean you have to get like a ton of manolin and all this kind of stuff that I have actually have no idea how to get. Oh god this is crazy. Crystal clear. This might be useful but I need a ton of sand that's also very crazy. All these crests are really crazy so I think I can just do this. Emmys. 16 million storage? What the hell? 16 million? What, what, what is needed to craft a 16 million storage burst? Uh, terra storage cluster, fluids dust, quartz glass. Terra takes 3 gigas. What? This is crazy. Uh, I'm not gonna make that. I'm not gonna make that now. I'm not gonna make that now. I'm probably gonna make it like some other time. So I just dump it here. These guys, I will be using them in the future Emmy interface. I will be using it. I have a another pen and encoder which I have no idea what to do with. And I guess this will be it for now. I'll try and complete this ep this one. Wait, I could probably do this now. Oh, oh, what is needed to craft a deep storage unit? But okay, reinforced strong box. Let's see what items we need. Uh, what items do we actually have inside our A system? Oh, we just need a tesseract frame, tesseract frame. We need more enderium. Enderium blend is pulverized, shiny, pulverized tin, and the pearls. Buckets, I do have buckets, so let's see whether I can remember this correctly. Let's just dump four in and. We have to actually wait for the resonant ender to actually pile up and dump it back in. Uh, let's see. In the meantime, we can just cross craft the strong boxes. I think strong boxes. I'll get crafting and I'll be right back. Reinforced strong box. Okay, that's while well, that's done. I'll grab my tesseract frame, deep storage unit. Uh, that should be done. Reinforced, reinforced, reinforced. Strong boxes, deep storage unit. And let's see, we can claim our reward now. Uh, let's go with the left one. That's, that's good. Uh, it's not even greater or something. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You know what? Now that we have this set up, we can actually go rip the enchantment off the thing. Uh, <laughs> when I actually need to do that. Hey, what I'm gonna do next is grab me some toast. I'm, run I'm running kinda low. And also, because of the huge amount of income of uh, veggies and growth and plants that I need, I think I'm gonna create a massive tower just for uh, harvesting and planting of plants. And you know what, I've got a plan set up, so uh, why not just brief you guys along with it. And I'll be I mean, I'll, I'll just start with the briefing now. I think I'm gonna, just going to get rid of this. Uh, also, I've got to relocate my cows. So the first floor would be just level with the ground along with this plane. And it will be a rubber farm along with a oak, oak wood farm. And then the next level would be uh, just normal plants, uh, wheat, le lettuce or any stuff, or tomatoes, I don't know what. And the third floor will be uh, for mobs, especially for these guys. I've got to relocate them somewhere. I think I'm just gonna uh, remove these guys, uh, remove the Thorncraft area that I've got. And also, I'm gonna move the enchantment room closer to this side because uh, I mean, it's more easily ac accessible after getting some EXP from those guys. Yeah, I'll try and clear this away and I'll be back with you soon to start on this project. Yeah.
Hey, it's been some time since my last cut. What I've done is something pretty amazing. I guess you've seen in the time lapse. And also, uh, this thing seems to be working fine. I've set this guy to tesseract power. And yeah, everything's stored inside the barrels. Uh, I should actually put it inside my A system, but it, it, it's kind of nice to actually see it, see it like this. So I can actually, oh, there's some wood. Now yeah, I'll just take it. I'll just take it. Uh, it's it's much better than just storing it inside the A system where everything is automated. It's not very that nice. I mean, it's not that nice to see. Also, I think what I can do is set up this thing for you guys. I'm gonna set up rubber trees in this, in this, uh, in this uh, planting area. Where's my rubber saplings and stuff? I can't find it. Is it in my chest? Yep, everything, everything is inside. These guys are sick. These guys are like troll sacred trees. Uh, that's what I would assume. I think what I do need is some barrels to actually store those guys I haven't done the decorations for this just yet but I will get to it sometime soon because I've yet to find out how big those rubber tree saplings grow grow to so let me just try this out okay this seems pretty tall let me just head upstairs uh, I think I can do uh, you know what I'm not gonna do everything here I'm just gonna set this guys up uh, we need to connect the, those tesseracts uh, the power lines from Tesseract. I think what I can do is just run the energy conduits to the other side and I'll be back with everything almost set up uh, we could go this way I'll use some normal item ducts because I think it should be traveling fast enough uh, I, I need some pneumatic servos pneumatic servos I do have some in my AE system this is really uh, kind of a time saving thing so let me just uh, do this and set it so that it I mean how do I say uh, whitelist rubber sapling so that it comes here every single time and I'll set it to vacuum mode so it always comes here first it will be the first destination for the saplings whoa what is flying to me oh and I do need some other barrels for the sacred rubber tree saplings it's a troll, but uh, I rather do. I rather uh, get some space in order to hold those troll saplings. I guess I don't know whether they're still in this version of the game, because yeah, you have like different. You have rubber saplings of different uh, item value thing. Let me just set this to uh, dense mode, so that it will come here very last. I mean, uh, when there's nowhere to go in the A system. I mean, in my barrel system. So. I'll dump some rubber saplings here to mark this. I'll lock this with a shift right click. I should have done this on the other one. Shift right click to lock what we want them to do. And also, I've sludge, but I'm not gonna use it now. I don't know whether I want to use the sludge for sludge boiling things. Maybe I should. Like, I won't be accessing this rubber tree thing for a while, so why not just dump the sludge boiler here? And also, I can actually just connect the lead stone energy cell up. So. Uh, try not to get too close and I need a chest for apparently the the products that come out of the sludge boiler uh, it might be dangerous because it would actually get me poisoned if I stand too close okay yep it should be getting those stuff oh crap okay my hunger's dropping really quickly Come on, I need to eat some toast I don't want to die I can't eat toast when I'm hungered oh shit that sucks Okay, come on, hunger. You got to wear out soon. You got to wear out really soon. I need you to wear out now, at least. Okay, I nearly died. Hunger is a very weird thing in this game. Very important thing in this map. I, you don't want to just die ran randomly out of the blue. Because it will kill you once you run out of hunger. I think I can just move the sludge boiler downstairs. So as to not uh, kill me. Maybe that will work. But that's all gonna be in the next episode. This will be the end of this episode. Yeah, I've done quite a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna pre up this tower thing. Gotta get this done until until uh to the next episode. You'll see a a refreshing new stuff of my base. And yeah, if you if you really like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.